Steve is a software that uses AI to generate videos out of text. Using artificial intelligence, Steve analyzes the text or script you put in and pairs it with pre-existing video clips from stock footage. You can also upload your own media and photos and turn them into videos as well. In just a few minutes, I was able to convert my script into a video like this. Time is precious and it's time to take control. Follow these five steps to avoid wasting time and boost productivity. Steve will allow you to quickly and easily generate videos for social media such as Instagram, TikTok or YouTube. Or you can use it to create promo or explainer videos for your business. Until now, I've been using Vion to create my videos. It produces fantastic animations, but it's quite expensive and time-consuming to use. That's why I'll be exploring other tools that can speed up my creation process, starting with Steve. In this video, I'll walk you through the most important features of Steve, show you how you can generate videos quickly using the power of AI and guide you through the pricing options. So let's go. Steve is a tool that you can use on the internet without needing to install any software. Just go to steve.ai or click on the link in the description to access it. Then create an account by clicking on sign up. I suggest trying the free plan first before considering any paid options. With the free plan, your videos will have a watermark and you can only download up to three videos per month. However, this gives you a chance to test the tool before making a decision. In Steve, you can create two types of videos. Live action videos that feature real people and physical elements captured through a camera. Or animated videos which use illustrations or digital graphics. With Steve, you have multiple input options. You can enter your own written text or use a script generated by ChatGPT. Alternatively, you can simply copy and paste a link to a blog post or website and Steve will use the content from that page as the script for the generated video. Coming soon, Steve will introduce options to transform tweets or audio recordings into videos as well. Let's start with the text-to-video option. I'm going to use this script that I have prepared, which is a video on how to manage your time. Choose text-to-video and a pop-up will appear with the option of using a pre-written script. This feature is particularly helpful if you're new to Steve. However, if you prefer to use your own script, simply close the pop-up. To begin, I'll paste my script here. Each line break will create a scene in the video. To assist the AI in selecting appropriate clips, I can highlight specific words in the script. Since this video focuses on productivity, I'll mention that in the video description. Additionally, I'd like to include a voiceover for narration. Afterward, Steve will provide me with various templates to choose from. I'll choose this particular one. Steve will then analyze my script and attempt to find relevant video clips to match the text. This process takes just a few seconds. And there it is. My video is ready for preview. Overall, it's not bad. However, in my opinion, some of the video clips don't align well with the text. Fortunately, I can replace the footage by searching for better suited options or uploading my own. Additionally, I have a range of video editing features at my disposal. For example, I can control the transitions between the scene modify the layout and color, and adjust the scene durations. 
Moreover, I have access to a collection of background music that I can select from. Once I'm satisfied with my video, I can publish and download it. The text to animation option follows a similar process, but the video will be based on illustrated animations instead. Let's try creating an animated video from a blog. All you need is a link to an online blog. Make sure you're using your own content and not anyone else's. However, since I don't have a blog of my own and just for demo purposes, I'll be using this blog from Steve about creating a GPT-3 video in 5 minutes. The blog content will be analyzed by Steve, which will use artificial intelligence to extract the key points and see corresponding animated clips. On the left side, you can view the entire blog article. The highlighted portions represent the sections that will be included in your video. If you're dissatisfied with the AI selections, you have the option to choose different sections for highlighting. On the right side, you'll find the script for the video based on the highlighted sections from the blog. Here you can select the video's length, either small, medium or large. Once you proceed, the process follows the same steps as text-to-video. Once you're satisfied with your video, you can generate the final version. I haven't been able to understand the difference between blog to video and URL to video. When I try entering a website link, it seems to work the same as converting a blog to a video. Also, I couldn't find any help documentation on this feature. So, if you happen to find out how this option is any different from the blog to video option, please let me know in the comments. Let's now explore the pricing options provided by Steve. There are three plans available. Basic, priced at $15 per month. Starter, priced at $45 per month. And Pro, priced at $60 per month. I won't discuss the Enterprise plan since it doesn't have any specified price. The main distinction amongst these plans is the monthly download limit. Any additional download beyond the plan's limit will incur extra costs of $5 per download. Therefore, the key consideration here is how much content you intend to create using Steve. While there are other variations in the pricing plan, such as video resolution and the number of premium assets accessible per month, the number of downloads serves as my primary criterion. Steve AI is a really cool tool that uses AI to turn text into videos, making it super helpful for saving time when creating social media or business videos. I'm really impressed with what this tool can do so far. However, I'm planning to check out other tools for my future videos. Once I compare them, I'll choose the best one and let you know. Thanks for watching and see you next time.